praise the living Jesus. This is another wonderful time to receive the understanding that will make you outstanding. My name is Witness Ken Paul Obieke. Our topic today says anointed and appointed to excel. It is extremely important you understand as a child of God that you are anointed and that you are appointed to excel. God cannot give birth to a failure. God cannot give birth to a disappointment. God cannot give birth to a reproach. You produce after your kind. And that was the original plan of God. Let's create man in our image and likeness. Man fell from that order through Adam, and Jesus Christ came to restore it. And as a child of God, it must reset your mind, reset your mentality to know that you are anointed and appointed to excel. When you come to understand that you have a God giving purpose in your life and you come to know that the owner of that purpose cannot fail you will understand this message more I repeat when you come to know that there is a purpose of God in your life not your purpose God's purpose in your life and you come to know how powerful the owner of that purpose is, it will help you to understand that failure, disappointment, anything that can make that purpose not to be fulfilled in glory and power is not possible once you are with God. But here is the kicker. Let's look at the word of God. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I want you to listen very carefully. Jesus Christ came as Son of Man to show us the way. Jesus Christ would have not excelled if he was not anointed with Holy Ghost and power. Jesus Christ is the pattern song. Jesus Christ is the one we are like. We fell in the first Adam, and in this last Adam, the second Adam, Jesus Christ, whom we look on to, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. There we rediscovered ourselves, and then recovered everything that was ever lost, even with a plus. Now, when I say that we are anointed, you and I are anointed, every child of God is anointed and appointed to succeed, to excel, get it clear. The original purpose of God that is in you, that is why you are on it. But where the danger is, is where you don't walk. You are not identifying with that purpose. That's another issue. Now, it says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil? For God was with him. How did Jesus excel? What made him excel? Holy Ghost and power. It was the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It was the power of the Holy Ghost. It was the Holy Ghost that made Jesus Christ 
to excel. If not, Jesus Christ would have been a complete and a total failure on earth because he didn't come to this earth with his glory and with his power. He left his glory in heaven and came to this earth to show us the way. Show us the way to live. Now, if you don't know that you are anointed and appointed to succeed, you are anointed and appointed to excel, and you don't know how, you will be struggling until the devil, God forbid, strangles you. You will look at the circumstances and the conditions. Sometimes they are so impossible. And because you don't understand that you don't excel by your own strength, you don't excel by your own wisdom, you don't excel by your own power, you don't excel by your own mind, you get frustrated, you get discouraged, you begin to try errors, you begin to uh, uh, cut uh, corners, and there's no shortcut to the promised land. If you don't understand what I am saying right now and take it like life, which I tell you many don't, because they are ignorant of understanding what it means to follow Jesus. You are following Jesus. You are watching his steps. You are watching his life. You are watching his ministry. As a minister of God, you are watching the ministry of Jesus, which you are meant to continue with. As a child of God, you are watching the life of Jesus. What is me? What made him tick? What made it that despite all the oppositions, despite all that the Jews, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, the high priests, the chief priests, the low priests, Despite all they did, Jesus excelled. Jesus was able to fulfill purpose with the destiny that God sent him with. And Jesus is in you, and you are in him. In him we live and move and have our being. Now what on earth can tell you, even when Jesus was in the grave, the Holy Ghost resurrected him. Even if they put you in grave, even if the witches or wizards that are nothing put you in grave, even if there is kingdom that say no way, they cannot do anything if you are in the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. If you know the person of the Holy Ghost, if you understand the message, what the Lord is bringing to you at this hour, if you understand it, what do you do? You align yourself. I must repeat this. Before I touch the next scripture, it says, how God, how means you need to discover so that you can recover. Means you, there's something you need to study, there's something you need to seek, there's something you need to know about this how. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. You are anointed and appointed to excel because of the Holy Ghost, because of his power. Don't forget that when Jesus was going, he gave the same Holy Ghost to us. He gave the same Holy Ghost to you. He didn't give it to your pastor and say, your pastor should give you small. He gave you as he gave your pastor. He gave you as he gave every other person. What you do with yours is what matters. What you, if, if somebody give you the same ammunition, the same weapon as he gave the other person and you don't use your own or don't use it well, it is your business. It concerns you. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth is a big lesson to learn. He called him Jesus of Nazareth, not Jesus of heaven, to show you that he's as ordinary as you are, without the Holy Ghost and power. Jesus of Nazareth is making you know 
that whatever the Holy Ghost did with Jesus, he wants to do with you according to the purpose of God. Jesus of Nazareth is bringing to us a man, an ordinary man that will have been handicapped without the Holy Ghost and power. Who went about doing good? He went about doing good. By what? By who? By the Holy Ghost and power. How will you be able to go about to fulfill the purpose of God in your life? How will you be able to go about to excel? Because that is the plan of God. There's not God cannot create a failure. Give me a break. It doesn't matter how you think. It doesn't matter where you are now. It doesn't matter how things are with you now. If you get aligned with this truth, it will make you free. It says, who went about doing good? Just as Jesus went about doing good, we are meant to go about in the same anointing and in the same power because we are appointed to excel. We must go about everything we are doing in the power, in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the understanding that we are appointed and anointed to excel to the glory of God. It's not for you. It's not about you. It's about doing now the purpose. And I tell you what, God is Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is God. God is Holy Ghost. And Holy Ghost is God. Holy Ghost is even Jesus. So in the mystery. So this thing is something that must enter you even if you have given up hope. This is why you give up hope. Because you don't know, you don't understand the truth that is meant to place you where the devil will be under your feet. You are seated with Christ as a child of God in the heavenly places. You are not classmates to the devil. Somebody who Jesus is living in, who the Holy Ghost is living in, is too much for the devil to play around with. Get it and get it clear. Most people are victims of ignorance. The, the modern church is not teaching people the real truth. I have said it time and time over. The church was born on the day of Pentecost. And if the church neglect the Holy Ghost or try to use him rather than allowing him to do what he is meant to do by himself, the way Jesus is pleased, it will cost a whole lot. We are still in this verse who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Healing all that were oppressed by the devil. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, remains the healer. He is still healing by the Holy Ghost. The same healings he did in the Bible, he's still doing today because he's the same today through the person of the Holy Ghost. Whom he told us that he will not leave us as orphans, but we send him. And that he's another comforter, another person like him, that we carry on the way he was carrying on when he was with us, when he was with them in the physical. And he said it's even better. Why is he not now not getting better? Because we have neglected so much the ministry of Jesus Christ that have been committed to the Holy Ghost. When you look at 
what he said here. And healing all that were oppressed. Take note. Healing not some. All. Jesus Christ does not heal some. He heals all. And healing is for the total man, spirit, soul, and body. If you are not born again right now, you need healing. I'm not talking about healing of sickness and disease now in this area, which is inclusive. Your spirit needs healing if you are not born again. Your soul needs healing if you are not born again. Now, your body needs healing generally. Jesus Christ came healing the total man. The, I mean the total man, spirit, soul, and body. And that is the ministry of Jesus Christ. Any area you need healing, whether it's physical, spiritual, financial, marital, whether your family needs healing, or any area you need help is a healing. And this is what we need to understand that it is only possible when we are yielded to the Holy Spirit that is Jesus in operation now. And I said here, not I, the Bible, the Word of God. It said, and healing all that we are oppressed of the devil. The devil is an oppressor. Psychologically, emotionally, you see people today depressed. For what? Because they don't know the ministry of the Holy Ghost. The ministry of Jesus that the Holy Ghost is carrying out. The devil is depressing people. The devil is oppressing people. And here the word of the Lord said Jesus was healing all. So there is no extent of whatever that is happening with you now. That the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ cannot bring healing. He said, for God wants with him. The Holy Spirit of Jesus is God with us today. You have not forgotten that another name of Jesus is Emmanuel. And uh, in closing, I want to quickly touch something that will add to the blessing you are receiving right now. In 1 John chapter 2, Verse 20 says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Can you imagine that? Ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. He said, Ah, myself? How can I know all things? Of course, you know all things because as you're born again, your spirit and the Holy Spirit have become. One in partnership. The Holy Spirit knows all things. That is why a life without the Holy Ghost, a life without the Holy Spirit of Jesus, <laughs> is lifeless. He said, you mean I know all things? Yes, this is the scripture. Because of the unction, because of the anointing, the enablement of the Holy Spirit, you know all things, yes. That is why you allow the Holy Spirit to take decisions. That is why you allow the Holy Spirit to give you directions. That is why you allow the Holy Spirit to instruct you, to lead you. Those who are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Romans chapter 8. You don't know all things. I don't know all things. We know all things. I know all things by the unction of the Spirit. So what do I know? What do I do? What I to know I do, what we should know we do is to depend on the one that knows all things. Even when you think you know, eh -eh, let him confirm. Because what you think is white is not white. What you think is black is might not be black. These are things you need to know. You need to know that you know what will make you to excel. You have it. So you don't run Around with every dick and hurry you see, don't follow anybody. You know all things. Because your spirit is born again. Because your spirit is aligned to the Holy Spirit. So what you do is to keep quiet. 
Depend on the Holy Spirit. Rely on Him. That answer you're looking for, you know it. You are not flesh. You are not this person people are seeing outwardly. No, the real you is on the inside. You know all things. And then why are people making mistakes? They don't allow the Holy Spirit. Why are people making blunders? Why are people beating about the bush? They don't understand this truth. But they know all things through the help of the Spirit of God. I want to touch the final verse and we pray. Watch this. It says, this is very, very important. Verse 26, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. When you do not rely on the Holy Spirit, you don't know the Holy Spirit, you don't have sweet fellowship with Him, you'll be seduced. And seduction, deception is going on, illusion, shun, shun, shun everywhere. That is what is going on everywhere. Because the modern church and the modern believers have put the Holy Spirit at the back seat. They follow man more than God. They worship men. Some of who are seducers, deceivers. Some of who have illusioned, blind leaders. Look at verse 27. I close there. But the anointing which you have received of him abided in you. So you see why you are anointed and appointed to excel. See what you have that you don't know you have. And when you don't know what you have, how do you make use of it? You will not be able to enjoy the usage. But the anointing which ye have received of him abided in you. Look how you are loaded. You are too loaded to be stranded. You are too loaded. You are overloaded. Because of the Holy Spirit. And you need not that any man teach you. Can you imagine that? Is he saying that no man should teach you? No. What he's saying is that the unction, what you have in the anointing is more than human comprehension. It's more than what humanly you can be taught. So if you have a higher teacher of the Holy Ghost in you, you, it is beyond what yourself can teach yourself or anybody can teach you. So I want to, it's not saying that people cannot teach you. That's not what he's saying. In the Bible, the Bible speaks of pastors, teachers, and so forth and so on. But it's trying to make you understand that there is a knowledge, there is a revelation that is beyond man, that you have the best of all teachers in the person of the Holy Ghost, whom you must glue to. That's what he's trying to reveal there. So that you don't get confused. But as the same anointing teaches you of all things, all things, how to run your marriage, how to bring your kids, where you should live, where everything, all things, so you can see that you are not meant to depend on yourself or depend on human knowledge or human whatever concerning issues. Watch this. But as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is truth. Is what? Truth, not fact. Truth. Nothing is spirit to truth. It's sacred. And is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, you shall abide in him. You shall abide in who? In him. In the Holy Ghost. In his teaching. In his own shown. In his anointing. Look at the final verse. And now the little now, and now little children abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Now, 
see what the Holy Spirit is meant to do for us, both on earth and to prepare us for the coming of Christ. Do you, can you do without such a personality? I want you to bow your head wherever you are and tell God, everywhere I have missed it, forgive me. I ask right now for this unction to come upon me, this anointing to come upon me. Let it overtake me. Let it overshadow me. Let it cover me in every way. Let it soak me. Let it abide with me. This unction you are revealing to me now. Holy Spirit, begin to pray wherever you are. Let it overshadow me. This is what I need that I didn't know. That I even have in the person of the Holy Ghost. Lord, this anointing you are introducing me to. This unction. Let it come upon me. Jesus said, the Spirit of God is upon me for he has anointed me. Jesus was anointed and appointed to excel. In the same way, we are anointed and appointed to excel. Begin to pray where you are. Oh Lord, let the same anointing be upon me. I yield myself totally to the Holy Ghost from today and his power. I surrender my spirit, soul, and body. Let this anointing begin to do that which is humanly impossible. Holy Ghost, Masa Rebo Shente Reprotoske La Bashinda La Kasuya, Riko Tola Bayala, Uselia Kutabia Naba, Riko Sila Protosila Bashanta Yaba, Rekatia, Mandri Brosunte La Yabacanto La Ya. Rico Soto, begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, as many as you have brought under this unction to hear this message, I am praying right now that the unction, because the word of God cannot be broken, the scripture cannot be broken, let this unction come upon them. Let the Holy Spirit baptize those who are not yet baptized. Let those who have not repented, repent. Let those who have not received Jesus, receive. And let every child of God that is under the sound of my voice right now receive this unction to excel, this unction to function, that from today, your story will become glory. In Jesus' mighty name. See you in heaven. Amen.